You're watching Telecom TV's coverage of Mobile World Congress 2015. And I'm joined now by David Walsh, who is President, CEO and Chairman of GenBand. David, where is the focus of GenBand's activities? GenBand only focuses on real-time communication. So it's things, and, and that means you to deal with real-time communications in the IP world, that's session, layer five and above. That's where you can manage quality of service. So we're a session five and above company, that's it. So we're not down in the, the plumbing of networks. We're in the intelligence and the quality of service of networks. And we're only focused on real-time communication. So that's things that require a real-time, require a quality of service, require predictability. So that's voice. So if you and I are talking, those packets have to be in real time. Otherwise, if they get jumbled up, there's, there's no conversation real-time SMS, video and voice, collaboration, those types of applications, that's what we focus on. And our real focus is transformation, taking the old legacy real-time communications infrastructure, a lot of it's TDM and other forms, and moving it to IP. So we're participating, helping the carriers move real-time communications from legacy to IP. And that's all we focus on. So as you can see, this Fring Alliance is perfectly suited for what we do. It's right in our sweet spot. Can you tell me more about the factors that led GenBand to form the Fring Alliance? Well, as everybody knows, the over-the-top space has been an incredibly active market and you see new names appear out of nowhere like WhatsApp and Viber. Obviously Skype's been around for a while, but every day uh, you're hearing about these new communities of interest that are being created through these over-the-top applications. So the carriers haven't really been able to participate much in that space. So we're looking at finding a way to help them get into the market. Um, the market is maturing quickly and we, we want to find a way to get them up to speed as fast as possible in a really exciting and growth market. How will the Alliance help communication service providers compete? Okay, so the, the Fring Alliance is, is an alliance of carriers. We're trying to bring them all together to form one federated over the top. So it's nothing different. You know, networks or the, uh, the value of a network is the function of N squared, the number of users on a network. So if you look at a lot of the existing over the tops, they have huge communities. So they have huge value. So look at Facebook as an example, a huge community with huge value. Look at WhatsApp. They, I guess they have 900 million uh, subs on their network. So what we found is while all the carriers are interested in launching these over-the-top applications and we're helping them do that, that it's very hard on their own for any one carry to be able to get that size community, So, which is value. So we feel by uniting the industry that we can actually create a value that's larger, right? A community that's larger than any of the over-the-tops that exist today. Once you get all the communities, the people together, then you can launch services on top. But it's very hard to create that very large community, and we feel that the best way for the carriers to do it is to do it in a joint effort. And so that's what we're bringing the Alliance, and that's what the Alliance is for. And who will benefit from the Alliance? All the carriers and obviously all the subscribers. They, so each carrier can uh, use this infrastructure that we have called this Fring. So Fring delivers all the real-time communications that you see in RCS or you see in WhatsApp and Viber. Essentially, the best of all their features is available. So what these carriers can do is they can use any of the features they so choose. They can market it under their brand. They can sell it. They can bundle it. So they have all the control on how they monetize, but they get the benefit of the joint development and the community and reach that they couldn't really get on their own. What does the Fring Alliance mean for the industry as a whole? Well, as a whole, what it says is that as a community, I mean, think about the public network, right? It really is a community. It works uh, because everybody can communicate with each other. And there has to be a baseline for real-time communications to work. That's why standards exist. So what the community gets out of this is the ability to be able to deliver rich communications. So this is not just voice and video and text and picture sharing, collaboration, but everything at WebEx and GoToMeeting and all of those features that you can do you know, today in individual apps, this will allow the carriers to be able to offer that as a ubiquitous service. 
So not just within your community, or not just one piece of functionality, but all of this real-time communications and be able to do it in a ubiquitous and global way. Is this the first time such an alliance has been created? Is this a unique proposition? There's been lots of consortiums and lots of alliances that have worked in many different industries. But this is the first in real-time communications. And that's all that GenBand really focuses on. So we're trying to take our expertise in what we do, and we're the market leader in real-time communications, and we're trying to find a way to participate in, in a bigger, play a more meaningful role to the community that we serve. And then we feel, rather than just selling this one at a time, that we can federate this. And it's not difficult to do because we already have these users on the infrastructure, using the same infrastructure. All we have to do is federate the address book, which is very easy. So this isn't a technical challenge. This is just getting a, the cooperation of the industry together. And this is just a question for the industry. Do they feel that they can be successful in the over-the-top space competing with these over-the-top providers? Or do they feel they need cooperation amongst themselves to build a big enough community to create an equal or greater value. And what is the immediate and also the long-term impact on the industry? Well, I think the immediate impact you'll see is you will stop the current over-the-tops from taking the customers away from these carriers. And there's been a huge attrition, a lot of loss of messaging and voice calls have moved over. There's no reason for these customers to leave anymore once you have an ubiquitous offer. But it's not only going to be a similar offer, we're going to provide a superior offer, and I'll tell you why. The current, what's, what's interesting about WhatsApp and, and Viber and these services is that you can um, make calls inexpensively or free. Um, you can connect to people that you know that are part of, of your community. The problem is if you and I are having a conversation on one of these services and somebody else calls, we get knocked off the call because the carrier does not know that we are speaking over the top. We're on a data channel and we're not known, there's no signaling path to know that. So while these services are interesting, you and I doing this interview could never do it on an over the top service because we could get interrupted four or five times and have to reestablish the call. So it's not really, doesn't lend itself to a pay service, the over the top, and that's why they're free. Having said that, the carriers, unlike the over-the-tops, the pure over-the-tops, and that they do control the signaling. So if you or I in the call, we could easily divert the call to voicemail, we could call wait, we could conference that person in if they were an interested party in the conversation we were having. So we expect this to be a superior service. Once you offer, you have ubiquitous capability. The same feature, but better quality, there's no reason for anyone to leave. In fact, there's reason for people to come back. So this is about stopping the losses and bringing people back to the carriers. So we're, we're like an OTT fighter, if you will, for the industry. You know, fight back together as opposed to on your own. On your own hasn't worked so well for them. David Walsh, thank you very much. Thank you.